What's up you guys, it's Erin. Welcome back. I know it's been a minute since I have put out a YouTube video. I just took some time to not make YouTube videos just because I wanted to. But I have a video that I really have been putting off filming, but I am excited to talk to you guys about a bunch of new SPFs that came out. I wanna give you some quick reviews on new formulas I've been testing. I have um, the new products from K Skin. I have some new Super Goop products and new to me. Um, I'll talk again about Coco Kind because that's new to me. I have the new Kinship SPF and I also have the new Dozy Moran one. So we have a lot of new formulas to talk about if you have been curious or if you want to try some of these products. I'll definitely have some thoughts for you guys. Before we get in the video, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're new here, I'm Erin. I live in the Midwest. I'm a full-time nurse and I like to talk about beauty stuff. So if that's something you're into, make sure to subscribe and let's talk about a bunch of SPFs. All right, today I'm just going to be talking about sunscreens that are new releases or new to me. I am a big sunscreen junkie. I like trying different formulas and I try to wear it every single day um, unless I'm working nights in winter in which the my skin does not see the light of day. I work night shift um, if you did not know that but otherwise I wear SPF every single day and I've tried a lot of formulas. Last year sometime I did a complete roundup video where I talked through every pretty much every formula I have tried. So I'm not gonna rehash any of those. So I can link that video down below in the comments if you want to refer back to that for even more sunscreen reviews. So jumping in first, I'm not gonna harp too much on this one because I just talked about this in my last favorite videos, my Feb February favorites, I think it was. This is the Coco Kind Daily SPF Sunscreen Lotion. Coco Kind sent me a package of products. I had never tried anything from them, but I had heard good things about this. This is a mineral sunscreen. It's 21% zinc oxide. And I was kind of worried that this would be drying on me for some reason. I feel like people had reviewed it as dry and that it would leave a white cast on me. I'm not going to harp too much on the differences between chemical and mineral sunscreens because I'm not an expert. You can do your own research. Just know that mineral sunscreen, uh, things like zinc and titanium dioxide, those are mineral or physical formulas that are barriers against the sun. Or you can have chemical SPFs that are typically they leave less of a white cast and have like a nicer formula. but people tend to be more sensitive to chemical formulas. Um, zinc and mineral sunscreens are better for the ocean and the environment. I prefer to find mineral if I can, but I definitely have formulas from both. Anyways, I'm getting off on a tangent, but I've raved about this one before. I really like this. It is quite white as most like zinc sunscreens are. I was concerned that this would leave a white cast, but it really doesn't. It rubs in fairly quickly, especially for such a high percentage of zinc. And I don't find that like some other mineral sunscreens, sometimes they look really good at first. And then as they sit on the skin, they kind of dry up and cling to imperfections and dry patches. I don't feel like that with this. I almost feel like I could just use some moisturizing serums and then apply this, which is rare for me because I have dry skin. Um, especially in the summer, I think I could get away with this as my moisturizer. I really love this. It's affordable. It's $24.99 at Ulta. I think it's like $21.99 at Target. You know, Ulta always has sales, but it's pretty affordable. It's really good. I recommended this to a couple friends who also love it. I definitely recommend this one. All right, I have some Super Goop products to talk about. Super Goop is the sunscreen standard, really. I used up a complete um, unseen sunscreen. That's like a more silicone-y sunscreen. I used to really like that. It's not my favorite anymore. I've tried the glow screen. I like it, but I don't like it as much as some others I've tried. It kind of leaves an orange cast on me. But I have two new products that were sent to me. I'm really enjoying them both. So let's start with the Super Screen Daily Moisturizer. This is a chemical SPF 40. This is not a new release by any means. I've heard a lot of people really love this, but I had never tried it and it came in um, the package with this new SPF oil that they came out with. So I'm gonna talk about this too. This is, this is kind of like a sneaky love for me because I didn't really have high expectations for it. I was like, moisturizer, nice, it's not a new release. But you can see it has such a nice, thick texture. It doesn't have a sunscreeny scent at all. It rubs in beautifully to the skin. It is a chemical filter. Um, and I would say that 
I still layer this with other SPFs because I only apply a small amount of moisturizer and this is like a really moisturizing formula. It's if you're oily it might almost be too much for you but for my dry skin I love it but I still like to layer it with a traditional SPF to make sure I'm fully covered because when you use a small amount of something it's just not going to cover enough of your face. That's why you should not rely on makeup alone for your SPF because you're only applying a small amount. But I've really fallen in love with this formula. I love it as my daytime moisturizer. It looks great under makeup. It blends in. It leaves my skin moisturized all day. I don't find that I have any irritation with it being a chemical sunscreen. It's SPF 40. If you have trouble incorporating SPF into your routine and you think you'd use a moisturizer, this one is $42, so it's a little more pricey, but if you can get it on sale, um, this is so good and it's 1.7 ounces so that's going to last you a while and I could definitely see myself um, repurchasing this with my own money when I run out of this because I really do love it and I love, you know, give me all the SPF. If I can layer it, I'm going to. And then a new product from them, this is the Daily Dose Hydroceramide Boost SPF 40. Very long name but this is supposed to be a sunscreen oil show you a close-up of the cute bottle here. I've never heard of a sunscreen oil. It's kind of a new concept. The instructions say to apply six to eight drops and um, put it as your last step of your skincare routine. I think the main thing I would suggest with this is to layer it with other sunscreens and skincare. I wouldn't rely on this for your only SPF, but I do really enjoy layering it with the unseen or what is this called the super screen moisturizer i would say that this is more of like a dry oil as you can see um it blends into the skin pretty nicely and i think if you're oily you're obviously not going to like this i don't even know if i'll use this in the summertime because it it does leave a lot of moisture and if you apply too much of this oil is going to come through throughout the day and your makeup might look oily that being said, I struggle with dryness in the winter time, especially I live in Wisconsin. It's very cold and dry uh, for like six months out of the year. And I think that these two will be perfect layered together or on top of whatever other sunscreen I um, want to use. But I've been really impressed by this. I just think there's a time and place and I don't think summer is going to be the time for this. I think it's a nice layering product and if you like to use a face oil, it's a great way to get extra SPF and it, it's really nice. It doesn't really have a scent. It's a chemical sunscreen filter as well. And this one is um, $46 for one fluid ounce, which is pretty typical for an oil. I think it's nice. Is it a necessity? No, but I like to have it in my routine. I think it's going to come in handy once we get to the cold months. All right, now we have a new SPF formula from Josie Marin. This is the Get Even Sun Milk. This is an SPF 33 mineral sunscreen. And I've always wanted to try Josie Marin's SPF. She has like two or three other ones in her line that I think she has a tinted version. Um, this was sent to me through actually, I should mention the others were sent to me as well. I think, yeah, every single one except one was sent to me um, by the brand to review. But this is like a thin, really thin formula and it feels very moisturizing right when you apply it and it sinks into the skin really nicely it looks nice under makeup but I will say I would recommend um, hydrating well underneath this one because I feel like it does kind of suck the moisture out over time like some mineral formulas can even though it's really thin and hydrating I think um, it can make your skin look dry and kind of cling to dry areas if you're not careful that being said I really do enjoy this I wish the SPF content were a little higher. It's SPF 33 and the formula is like 3% titanium dioxide and 4.08% zinc oxide which is like a lower percentage. Um, for reference the Coco Kind one is 21% zinc oxide which is a better concentration. I don't necessarily think the protection of this is as good as other SPFs but I think this is really nice. If you like her SPF formulas I think you should try this. Um, I don't know if it's like my top top mineral SPF formula but I really do like it. I think I'll use it all. Um, it's just not like a standout for me. It's really thin. It's really nice but it's just a, it's just a tad drying. Then we have the only SPF I bought. This is from Kinship. This is kind of like a new release of an SPF that they already have which is their Self Reflect SPF. It's their sport version with SPF 60. I have a love for the original version of this. It's the Self Reflect Probiotic SPF 32. It's their original face sunscreen. I love it. I've already been through one. I have a backup and then I bought this one. This one is a higher SPF. It's 
um, SPF 60, whereas the other one is 32. And this is supposed to be sweat and water resistant for 80 minutes. And it's um, got ceramides in it. I definitely knew I wanted to try this one to compare to my Holy Grail version of this. Here's the texture of it. It almost has like an iridescence if you can see that. You see that? It blends into the skin nicely, but I definitely have a few thoughts. It definitely feels a little bit more oily. Like the base of it just feels a little bit more oily than the original. Um, that being said, I love that it's SPF 60 and it's 24% uh, zinc oxide. And um, I think this would be a, the perfect like higher SPF vacation or if you're going to be in the sun all day, like direct sunlight, I think I would go for something like this. I think it could be a little bit heavy and greasy for under makeup if you're oily especially. Um, and I think this is another one that I'm going to love in winter. But as it gets warmer and my skin, you know, produces more oil and the humidity, I think this might be a little bit heavy for every day in the summer. But for like outdoor days, for winter days, I think I'm going to love this one. Um, I don't know if I love it as much as the original for every day because I just love that one so much. It's so good. They both have the same kind of vanilla scent. This one I just noticed is a little more iridescent, a little more heavy and oily feeling, but overall I like it. I don't really have an issue with it. I don't see it um, emphasizing texture on my skin. Just know it's like very, very hydrating. Um, and I think if you're oily, this could feel a little bit heavy. I forgot to mention that this one is $28 for 1.7 ounces. And the Josie Marin is $46 for two ounces. Last two products are new releases and a new brand. It's um, K Skin, which is Winnie Harlow's new, I don't know if they're gonna do makeup and skincare. It kind of seems like a mix of both, which is really hot right now. But she came out with three SPF products were her first releases. A mineral sunscreen, uh, it's the Universal Mineral Face Lotion, and the Isle Glow Face Lotion, as well as an SPF 30 lip balm, which I actually love, and that's in my purse upstairs right now. I was sent all three products, and I've been reviewing them. Let's start with the Universal Mineral Face Lotion. This is SPF 55 and it's $34 for 1.7 ounces. It's 12% zinc oxide, so a little bit lower um, zinc content, but I love that it's mineral. One thing that's really unique about this is the color. It's like a yellow kind of shade. I don't notice that once it blends into the skin that it leaves a yellow cast on my skin at all maybe i kind of like yellow like i am like too orange in my settings of my camera but um this does not leave a yellow cast on my skin at all it actually rubs in really really nicely it looks great under makeup i'm surprised i really love this i was scared i would look yellow i was scared i would look like a dry cake face which like i think mineral formulas are the hardest to nail and i think this is really really nice it's somewhat affordable and um, I like that it's not super white. I actually like that it's yellow. I think that makes it um, easier for all skin tones to use rather than a stark white product. And I've been really impressed by it. And I really like this one. The other SPF is the Isle Glow Face Lotion SPF 45. This one is a chemical SPF and it's um, it's got a pump on it. And it's a kind of like lotion. It reminds me of like the Lumi Glotion from L'Oreal. You see that? It's more like a thin lotion type formula and it definitely gives your skin a glow. It says you can use this however you want. You can use it all over your face. You can, um, I think that those are the only instructions. I was just curious if this was meant to be like a liquid highlight because it is very glowy. I think if you pumped a lot of this on your face, you could look almost a little bit Tin Man-ish if you weren't careful it's not as extreme as like the color science glow um, spf that one is really really intense my favorite way has been to layer these two i like to apply this all over my face and then kind of put a pump or two of this like on the high points of my face and that's what i did today I don't know if I mentioned the price of this one, but they're both $34, which is cheaper than some other options on here from Sephora. And overall, I've been really impressed with this brand. I also love the lip balm. It comes in a squeezy tube. It's up in my purse right now. That's how much I love it. I've been trying to wear more SPF lip balms because I can get hyperpigmentation around my lips when I'm out in the sun a lot. Um, but it has like a vanilla scent. It's really thick and moisturizing. I'm really impressed by these two. I'm definitely curious to see what else K-Skin comes out with because I really enjoy both of these. 
All right, guys, and that is it for my roundup of new or new to me SPFs. I hope this was helpful for you. There's really not any in this bunch that I don't like. It's just, you know, you have things that you wear in different seasons and for different reasons that was not meant to be corny, but it's true and I like all these for different reasons. There's nothing that was really a miss for me, which is great. I will be stocked on SPF for the summer. Let me know down below in the comments if you have questions or if I didn't cover anything about any of these formulas. I would love to help. And as always, make sure to subscribe before you leave and we will see you in my next video. Bye.